Okay, year 11. This is the promised video to help give you some direction for the general essay question that uh, you have for your homework, um, your writing assignment in literature this week. So, um, I had some feedback that people uh, kind of didn't know maybe how to get started on this question. And, and it kind of sounded like from the feedback that maybe people were making it kind of too big in their mind, okay? So I wanna just first of all say that this is a question that came right off a of past paper. So um, it should be something that you could even, you know, give yourself a time limit on, okay? You, um, as I said in the uh, directions, this could be a huge essay. So you have to be really selective about what you wanna talk about, okay? I don't want it to be, you know, an exhaustive um, essay on every aspect in which war is significant in this novel, okay? So set, you even set yourself a time limit on your brainstorming, okay? The question is, in what ways does Knowles make war such a significant part of the novel? And so your first step is, I mean, like if you were doing this in an exam, you'd have to quickly think, okay, war, significant, well, pff, all over the place. So take your pick. <laughs> but you want to think about places where you think you could make a strong argument or make a strong claim with the the aspects that you talk about or something a, a scene that really jumps out at your mind like ooh that that's got something really powerful to say about war and its influence in this novel. I'm I'm going to talk about that. What could I say about that? Okay? So <clears throat> and in the instructions I also encourage you to not just look at World War II, but also make sure that you at least, you know, at least one of your PEE paragraphs is about the idea of personal war. I think a strong essay would probably divide, divide its time in half, okay? How World War II is affecting the characters in this story and um, how Knowles develops this theme of personal war in the in the novel okay um this <clears throat> this shouldn't require you to reread your whole novel to write this essay okay rather brainstorm things that pop okay if you if you sit and think okay well where do i see uh world war ii as being a really significant part of this story playing a a big role, okay? Maybe some of your ideas, you know, something might pop is like uh, how enlistment uh, is fa constantly facing the characters in the story and how that's a decision that they've got to make. Um, maybe you want to talk about um, this, the whole conspiracy theory of of Finney's and how he comes up with this <laughs> giant explanation to, you know, sort of what seems like to us most of the way through the book to be an escape from reality, uh, the you know escape from the reality of war. To come up with this conspiracy theory about fat old men. <clears throat> Maybe you'll want to look at how the World War Two has this, or training for World War Two has this devastating effect on leper. Okay, though, uh, and there's more, okay? <laughs> That's just like a scratch on the surface. But those are some that just come to mind right away, okay? And then what you'd want to, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, then, you know, and then you want to think, okay, besides World War II, what are some key ways that this idea of personal war, that theme is developed in the, <clears throat> in the book? Um, you know, of course, you're going to want to touch on the rivalry that Jean imagines is there between he and Finney, okay? Um, there's going to be a lot to pick from there, but as you think about that rivalry or that imagined rivalry, what are some of the powerful moments where, uh, it, the, where it's really significant? And, and that's where you want to go to and discuss um, how personal war is made significant 
in, in those scenes or that part or use examples from scenes. <clears throat> um, other personal, other personal war, you know, examples like, uh, you know, Jean's interaction or fight with Quackenbush is also another example of um, personal war. Um, and you, I think everyone will want to try to comment on the ideas that are discussed at the end of the book, okay, in chapter 13, especially um, the metaphor of the Maginot lines, okay? The closing paragraph is super powerful. Um, you won't want to miss out on, you know, discussing some of the final thoughts, especially you want to think about, too, how the, how the author um, leaves you, okay? And, we're, and how a book ends is very important. And so you want to uh, explore uh, it, at least have one paragraph dedicated to that, okay? Um, <clears throat> so just, just like normal in these essays that you write, um, once you've, once you've um, decided on the, the points that you want to use, okay, the four or five points, then of course you need to move to creating a point statement um, that's focused on the set question, okay, the significance of war in the novel, and, and then you want to think about making a claim about um, how, you know, one way that Knowles makes war significant, okay, and then then you can um, think about where those scenes happen in the book, and you want to take specific examples. Okay, you can you can use you know your powers of uh, summarizing <laughs> to to use specific examples, um, and then of course you're going to want to support that claim and your examples with. A powerful quote or two that uh, that gives you opportunity to make a language comment or two. Okay, so you're just deciding which scenes that you want to use as examples, and um, then move to those scenes and and skim through and see if uh, something specific will help you support your claim or your argument, okay? So one example that I can, that I, I came up with uh, to share with you is the, the example I talked about for enlistment, okay? So my example point is, Knowles makes the reality of World War II a significant part of the novel through the constant question of enlistment for the boys. Okay? They're constantly having to face it, okay? When I think of that aspect, a couple scenes really pop for me, okay? Um, you don't have to use all of these, but um, you certainly could, you know, mention them in examples and then maybe um, dig into um, one of them that's got some, you know, powerful um, language choices. So the, the first thing that comes to mind is the end of chapter 7 where Brinker and Jean are talking about a listing and then that whole um, scene where... Um, Gene's wrestling with the idea of enlistment in his head and all that, like all those, all the imagery of like the cold stars and the logic of the choice and, and how it just feels like so right and his chance to start over. Okay, that's a really powerful scene. I mean, th those are the kinds of examples you want to think of. And you just move to those parts of the book. Like, ah, what about when he... Um, if you were in an exam... Answering this question, it all have to come out of your head. So, so go with the things that you, that pop for you and that you can think of. Um, I'm not expecting you to to comb the entire book and find, you know, every every instance and in quote about war. It's more about the things that come to your mind as a as a student who's read this novel and can make some observations about uh, how war plays a significant part, okay? Um, my other thoughts were, were chapter 9, when Leper enlists, and the um, genes and other people's thoughts about that. Um, 
possibly the conversation with Brinker's dad in in chapter 13. Uh, this, this would make a really um, full uh, <laughs> paragraph if you talked about all of those. So you want to be selective where um, you could maybe reference them um, but then you, you know, you use several examples, but then dig in and pursue um, a specific instance or two, okay? Um, then, I mean, I, my guess is uh, three or four, you know, substantial PEE paragraphs, um, and, and you'll have your 400 to 600 words easy. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I was talking about when I said to that this could be a huge essay, but you're going to need to be selective, okay? And and just want to remind you that, of the challenges to, to think about both aspects of war, the world war and the theme of personal war, okay? Remember, this is an exam, um, exam question that's meant to be answered, um, you know, in 45 minutes, okay? You can take longer than 45 minutes, but, but don't take hours and hours, okay? That's, that's too much. Um, so set yourself a time limit, and um, of course you, uh, you're not an exam, so you have open book resource on this, um, but go with, go with the examples that you feel like you can make your strongest points about. There's, and like I said, there's loads to talk about. So just choose the best ones. Um, and yeah, um, I look forward to reading them. Okay.